Hello and welcome back to the Vanderbilt Commodores Dynasty. Today we're going to be taking on Mississippi State with some prospects visiting this week, including wide receiver Brian King and free safety Matthew Huggins. Brian King is a four-star prospect out of Maryland with some pretty solid ratings across the board, but we do have to out-recruit it looks like Oklahoma State for him. Matthew Huggins is a three-star prospect out of Missouri, is not in the best zone coverage, but the main coverage is pretty solid. We have to out-recruit Iowa State and Memphis for him. There you can see the game goals we're going to try to accomplish in order to get these two to commit here, at least hopefully. It's a pretty big game when it comes to the SEC standings. We're trying to keep pace with Florida on our side and Mississippi State. They're trying to keep pace with Alabama and Arkansas on their side. It looks like Vanderbilt is going to start the day on offense and fail a flea flicker on their first play of the day. Third and 13 now. A clean pocket for right going over the middle. Incomplete. That wasn't even close to the intended receiver. That was supposed to be for Will Shepard, the further receiver down the field, and yeah, that just wasn't even close. So a quick three and out. Puts Mississippi State's offense on the field. Here is Will Rogers, the sophomore quarterback, keeping it on a read option, picking up 12 yards. So a new set of downs. A speed option now left side to Jaquavius Marks, and he picks up maybe a yard. Second and nine. Rogers moving around, breaking a sack and going down. Bringing up third and 14, that is Davion Davis. Cleaning up the play after Elijah McAllister couldn't bring him down. Third and 14, Rodgers all day, stepping up, going down the field, caught by Wally. He just sat down and made a play on the ball. It is going to have a gain of 47 yards and a first down. Here's Marks on the left side after the big play. And he's going nowhere down at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Rodgers over the middle, wide open man, that is Wally again. And he has a gain of 17 yards here. Going to be goal to go now. All day for Rodgers again, underneath to Jaquavius Marks on a check down. He'll pick up four yards. Second to goal, the backup running back in the game, that is Dylan Johnson. He's actually going to lose a yard here on the play. Third and goal, they go power look. A handoff to Johnson and he cuts back inside and is into the end zone from three yards out. Putting Mississippi State on the board here first. The Vanderbilt offense would go three and out again. So the Bulldogs with a chance to go up two scores early. Second to ten after a throwaway. Here's Jaquavius Marks on a handoff, taking it ahead and picking up 13 yards. This Mississippi State offense is the worst rushing team in the country, but you wouldn't know it when Marks is making plays like this, running over defenders and weaving ahead, picking up 13 yards on back-to-back -back carries, putting the Bulldogs... Up near midfield, now across it. Second and seven marks another carry, and he picks up 14 yards this time. Remember, this Vanderbilt defense last week looked really good against Northwestern, but they're not looking good today. Dylan Johnson breaking a tackle and taking it ahead for a pickup of 10 on the play. Second and inches, Rodgers keeping it on a read option, and he has a first down, picking up 10 yards himself. So another new set of downs here. Speed option left side, the pitch to Marks, and he's brought down in the backfield. Losing four yards, finally Vanderbilt's able to stop a run. Second and 14, and off to Marks' right side, he's spun down in the backfield, losing three more yards. Elijah McAllister making the play. Third and 17, play action fake. Rodgers dancing around, going over the middle. Caught by Polk, he will be stopped short of the line to gain, and it's going to be fourth down. They're going to kick a field goal. And go up 10-0 here in this first quarter. We have a studio update. Looks like Florida in a tough game so far against Kentucky, who is still looking for their first win on the season. Ziegler will return the kick. He is up past the 20, bouncing it outside across the 30, past the 40, fighting ahead, and taken down up near midfield. Return of 48 yards by the freshman as he tries to spark this offense that doesn't have a single yard. Seven seconds left in this first quarter. Play action fake, right going left side, he misses a man wide open. 0-4 to start the day for right, and they're just going to run it to end the first quarter and at least get positive yardage on the day. Six-yard run by Davis to end the first quarter. Hopefully the second quarter goes better here. Third and four to start it. Blitz coming, right extending. Nobody really open. He's going to have to take off. He has the first down, gets a block, and is out of bounds with a run of 19 yards. Play action fake, pressure on right, he checks it down to Bresnahan, who makes a move and picks up nine yards, nearing another first down. Second and one, Davis taking a handoff, 
Picking up three yards and getting that first down. Second and eight. They are in the red zone. Right. Checking it down to Bobby Jr. And he takes it to the one. It's going to be goal to go here for Vanderbilt. Threatening to make it a one-score game right underneath to Johnson. And he's into the end zone. Making it a 10-7 game here in this first half. Let's see if the Vanderbilt defense can slow down this Bulldog rush attack. Marks left side. He has the first down across midfield and inside the 40 before he's finally brought down. They are already over 100 rushing yards on the day. They're going to try to throw it here. Rodgers going right side, nearly intercepted. That would have been a pick six for Max Worship. Third and eight now. Rodgers all day going underneath, caught by Ra Ra Thomas. And he's down short of the line to gain. It will be fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal. And the kick is wide left. It will stay just a three-point Bulldog lead here in this first half. See if the momentum they got last drive can keep up here. Run of six yards by Davis. Third and two, a play action fake. Right extending. He made a man miss. He's going to take off and get the first down. Going out of bounds near midfield with a gain of nine yards. A handoff to Rocco Griffin. His first carry on the season, and he's down at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Right over the middle, caught by Cam Johnson. He has a gain of 12 yards and a first down. His second catch on the day. Rocco Griffin, another rush attempt, and this time he picks up three yards. Second and seven, right? Bobbing downfield, caught by Pierce. A gain of 18 yards, a great timing throw and route run by Pierce there. The throw is perfectly in time before the defender could even make a play on the ball. So into the red zone they go. Right, lobbing to the end zone, a man wide open, caught by Will Shepard, and Vanderbilt is now out in front after that awful first quarter of 14-10 to 10 here. See if the defense can get another stop. A handoff to Marks up the middle. He's going to fall ahead and pick up eight yards on the play. They are still sticking with this rush attack that has really killed us all day so far. Dylan Johnson picking up four yards in a first down. They're going to try to throw it here. Over the middle, caught by Polk. Picks up seven yards, bringing up second and short. Second and three with a minute 25 left in this first half. Marks picking up a first down that will stop the clock. Mississippi State does have two timeouts. Screen pass coming here, caught by Marks on the right side. Across midfield, breaking a tackle, breaking another, and finally brought down after a gain of 19 yards. And the clock stops with the first down. A throw underneath the Griffin. He's up near the 25, a gain of 8 yards, and Mississippi State uses another timeout. 55 seconds left in this first half. All day for Rodgers here, lobbing downfield. Caught by Polk. He's going to make it goal to go here. So Mississippi State marching right down the field. 43 seconds left. Rodgers going right side, caught by Thomas. Out of bounds with a gain of 2. Second and goal. A hands off to Marks. He's brought down short of the end zone. It will be third and goal. They're going to hurry up to the line, though, instead of using that last time out. All day for Rodgers. Going to the end zone, caught by Austin Williams. And Mississippi State is back out in front now. As Rodgers shows off his great throwing ability, 12 of 14 on the day. Great route by Williams as well, bouncing it back outside. Let's see what Vanderbilt wants to do here on offense. They do have all their timeouts, right? He's going to take off and go up near the 30. They will use a timeout. Second and five with 16 seconds left. Right going down the field. Caught by Cam Johnson inside the Mississippi State 40. A great throw, burning cover two. And a great job by Cam Johnson getting right in the spot he needed to be. 10 seconds left. Right. A quick throw left side to Pierce. He has the first down out of bounds near the 20. Seven seconds left. They're going to try a screen pass. Caught by Ziegler. Three seconds left. Two seconds left. He goes down and they get the timeout off in time so they can kick a field goal here. And the kick is good, so we're going to be tied up at 17 here to end the first half. What a tale of two quarters we had there, with Mississippi State dominating the first quarter about as much as you can. Vanderbilt, they battle back in that second quarter to get us all tied up here at 17. See what the second half brings us as the Bulldogs start with the ball. A read option keeper for Rodgers on the left side. He has a first down and a run of 12 yards. They really ran the ball a lot more than I was expecting them to in that first half. They're going to throw it here, and it's nearly intercepted. Come on, we need to start catching these. We're trying to get 
Matthew Huggins to commit to us. He's not liking all these dropped interceptions. Third and nine to throw on the right side, caught by Williams. He has a first down and is across midfield. As Mississippi State is looking to take the lead back. All day for Rodgers here, going right side again. This time it is Griffin with a gain of 11 yards and a first down. Second and nine. Mark's taking a handoff, stiff arming a defender, and falling down, making it third and five. They're going to probably try to throw it here, and they will. Pressure coming. Rodgers hit. He stays on his feet and throws it right side, caught by Calvin. But he goes out of bounds, and it's going to be fourth down. I don't know how he even got the throw off. They will kick another field goal here, and this time they make it. So they take the lead now 20-17 to 17, as we take a look at a studio update. Florida now trailing Kentucky 17-10. to 10. That would be a pretty big upset, wouldn't it? Let's see what the Commodores offense looks like in the second half. A handoff to Ziegler on their first play, and he's going to lose a yard. They really only used him as a kick returner in the first half, but maybe they'll try running it more with him in the second half. In of eight yards there by Schoenwald, the tight end. Brings up third and three. Right extending. Looking down the field. A man open. It's Will Shepard. He has a first down all the way to the Bulldogs, 35. A big pass play to probably our best receiver, at least so far this season. There is Ziegler losing two more yards. We just... Really can't block for him, can we? Second and 12. Blitz coming. A check down to Ziggler on the right side. Trying to make a move, and he's hammered down after a gain of seven yards. He is going to make it third and five at least. Good blocking here for the most part. Pressure coming. Right going right side. Caught by Cam Johnson. Picks up nine yards and a first down. Second and nine. Screen pass left side to Shepard. Picks up four yards. Bring up another third and five. They're going to have to throw for it. Pressure coming, and Wright is going to be sacked. Losing 11 yards, bringing up fourth and 15. They're going to have to kick a field goal of their own and tie us back up now at 20. We have a studio update again. Looks like AM is in a tough game against Arkansas, who is still undefeated, sitting there at 4-0. So that would be a pretty big win for Arkansas. And Kentucky is now up 24-17 in that fourth quarter. So a couple of potential upsets brewing here in the SEC. The Bulldogs will start their new possession here with a speed option on the right side that Rodgers will keep and pick up 11 yards and a new set of downs. They're going to try to throw it here. All day for Rodgers over the middle. Caught by Ra Ra Thomas. A gain of 16 and a first down. Speed option right side again. Pitch to Marks. He is spun down in the backfield by Anthony Orgy. It's going to be a loss of two on the play. Second to 12. Pressure coming. Rodgers hit. Stays on his feet, but it's going to be cleaned up by Elijah McAllister. A loss of 12 on the play. Bringing up third and 23. Let's see if they can get out of this one. 44 seconds left in this third quarter. All day for Rodgers. Bobbing deep down the field. Caught by Polk. They do get out of it. That is two times we have gotten burned on third and long. Come on. They're in the red zone. All day for Rodgers again. Stepping up. He's going to take off. And stiff armor defender and pick up a first down. A gain of 11. Gonna be goal to go for the Bulldogs here. First and goal. Play action to fake. Rodgers. Going back left. Caught by Ra Ra Thomas. He's into the end zone putting Mississippi State up 27 to 20. Near the end of the third quarter now. What does Vanderbilt want to do here on offense nearing the end of the third? They're going to throw it deep down the field. Caught by Cam Johnson. Inside the 20 and brought down by his ankles. After a gain of 59 yards, putting Vanderbilt into the red zone here to start the fourth quarter. So maybe momentum on their side now. Ziegler, a hands off to him. Picks up five yards. They are still committed to the run, even though it hasn't worked out today. In a four yards by Ziegler that time. Brings up third and inches. They're going to run him a third straight time. He has the first down and a gain of three. Going to be goal to go for the Commodores. First and goal. Right. A quick throw left side caught by Bresnahan. And we are all tied up again. Now at 27. Mike Wright has completed 16 straight passes, by the way, after he started the game out 0 of 4. Will Vanderbilt play any defense, though, here in the fourth quarter? Screen pass left side to Heath. His first catch goes for 12 yards and a first down. We're going to try another screen pass. This time right side to Polk. And he picks up four yards, bringing up second and six. Going to run a draw to Marks. Bouncing it outside. He is hammered down in the backfield by Anthony Orgy. It's a loss of three on the play. Third and nine. We have four-man rush. Rodgers stepping up. 
Hit stays on his feet somehow and lobs downfield. Caught by Heath, he's into Vanderbilt territory all the way to the 25. A gain of 36 yards. We had him dead to rights there in the middle of our entire defense, basically, or at least our defensive line. And then he somehow finds a way to get this ball off to a wide open Heath. Now, during the red zone, they're going to hand it off to Marks on the right side on a draw. And he picks up four yards on the play. Second and six, another draw play. Marks going down in the backfield, a loss of one. Going to be on another third down and long. Third and seven. They're going to have to throw for it. All day for Rodgers. Over the middle, caught by Williams, and he takes it all the way to the one. A gain of 22 yards. It's going to be goal to go. First and goal. A give to the fullback, and he's into the end zone. That's actually an offensive lineman giving the Bulldogs the lead here in the fourth quarter. See if Vanderbilt has another answer in them. They're going to run it with Ziegler up the middle. He has been the primary running back in this second half for Vanderbilt. Second and four, they run him again. And he has a first down and a gain of five. He has kind of been better than the rest of the running backs, but still not great. Second and ten, they run him left side. He has the first down across midfield. Finally getting good blocking on the edge, and he's able to actually use his speed that he has. So now into the Bulldogs' territory, right? Stepping up and going down. Sack losing eight yards on the play. Second and 18. A read option keeper for right. He makes a move and dodges a couple of defenders. Has the first down inside the 20 all the way down near the 15. A gain of 41 yards on the play. I don't know how nobody tackled him. They just didn't really even try it, looked like. It looked like they were all moving in slow motion and right was just... Better than everybody else on the play. So a new set of downs. They are in the red zone. A throw over the middle is incomplete. Intended there for Schoenwald. Second and 10. Right. Backing up. Going left side. Intercepted by Emerson. He's going to try to return this one up past the 25. And he's knocked out of bounds. Pierce was wide open. But the throw came way too late. And he was covered by then. And it was just a bad decision at that point. The Bulldogs can try to run this one out with two and a half minutes left here in the fourth. They're going to throw it, though, on their first play and pick up 16 yards. So they do keep the clock moving with that completion. Another throw down the field. This time it's incomplete. That's going to stop the clock. Why are they throwing it all of a sudden? Second and 10. Minute 52 left. They run it here with Marks breaking tackles and take it down after a gain of seven. Vanderbilt uses a timeout. Third and three. They're going to run it with Mark's right side, breaking tackles and taking down a yard short of the line to gain. It's going to be fourth down. And they're going to punt it away. So the Commodores have a chance here to tie us up. Screen pass on the right side to Abdur Rahman. A great job staying on his feet and picking up that first down. Another screen pass this time left side to Johnson. He's running backwards and losing 12 yards. They have to burn a timeout. And they have none remaining. Second and 22, right? Has pressure on him, extending out. Lobbing downfield, caught by Shepard. He has the first down and gets out of bounds with a gain of 29. And he's across midfield. So Vanderbilt may be in business here. Minute 20 left. Right backing up. He's going to go over the middle. Caught by Pierce. He's brought down. And the gain of eight. But he's injured. They have to hurry up and get him off the field. They can't stop the clock with the timeout. So now they're down to just 51 seconds. Right, going down the field, caught by Abdurrahman, and he's into the end zone. We're going to be tied up at 34 with under a minute left. That is the fourth passing touchdown on the day for Mike Wright. Unbelievable how the Bulldogs just let that happen there. The Bulldogs do have all their timeouts left here to try to help them get down the field. A throw quickly left side, caught by Griffin. He has a gain of nine yards. Second and one, Rodgers, lobbing downfield, caught. By Heath, he's across midfield and taken down with a gain of 21. 39 seconds left. They're going to hurry up to the line, keeping all their timeouts. Rodgers, plenty of time on this one. Lobbing deep down the field again. One-on-one. -on -one. Caught by Polk. Inside the 10 and taken down. Inside the 5. It's going to be goal to go. And they can kick a field goal here to win it. They're not going to do that, though. They keep all their timeouts. Two seconds, one second, a hands off. Marks breaks a tackle and he's into the end zone. And Mississippi State is going to win this one in regulation. How did we just let that happen? And why didn't they just use their timeouts and kick a field goal? Why even come down to that play? I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better opportunity there. That is our highest overall player, Anthony Orgy, 
and he couldn't make the tackle, so I guess we deserve to lose. The player of the game is Will Rogers, 27-31, 393 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. He was fantastic, and we couldn't stop him. For us, Mike Wright, he got off to a really slow start. Did obviously come on strong, completing a bunch of passes in a row, but at one interception, it proved to be too costly, and that is pretty much the reason we lost the game. James Ziegler, he was pretty efficient in the second half. Maybe we start running it even more with him, and he becomes the clear-cut, full-on, full-time running back. That is probably what we're going to try to do. Cam Johnson didn't have any rushing yards today, but he did have a big day receiving, along with Will Shepard there. Those two were pretty great, and hopefully they can keep being good for us in the receiving game. An upgrade here for head coach Sonny Garland. We're going to start increasing the amount of points we have each week for recruiting. And, of course, we're nearing the second half of the season already, so let's increase the points in the second half of the season. See that the upset was completed here as Florida goes down, losing 31-17. Kentucky gets their first win of the year. We also see that Arkansas moves to 5-0 and completes the upset of Texas A&M, winning 24-21. They got a pick six there in the fourth quarter to pull that off. The two visits we had, well, Brian King, he decided not to commit yet. He still has some visits scheduled with some other teams. Hopefully, we can get him to commit before he even has those. That would be great. And it's going to be the same thing here with Huggins. We're going to have to wait around and see if he takes these other visits. Hopefully, he doesn't. We want him and King to both commit here as soon as possible. That would be great. At the end of last episode, I asked you what you wanted us to do here at quarterback. We are going to be recruiting both J.J. Boyd and Paul Lee. Juice Man and Daryl Marsh, they both agree. We do have some input here from Chris Bryant saying that we should go for Paul Lee. I don't know if he hates Boyd or if he just likes Paul Lee that much better. I do think Paul Lee is probably the better option for us right now because he is more mobile and our offensive line is not great. But I want to add them both and see what happens in practice. We do have an equal amount of points on both of them right now, and we'll see how things go with them. Harvey Whitfield, we have decided to put 500 points on him because he has the only punter left with academic prestige in his top three. If we don't get Harvey Whitfield, we're going to be stuck with a walk-on punter next season. How about some good news in recruiting finally? Gary Robinson is 99% locked to go to us. We are the only team that has offered him a scholarship, so we should be getting him here in the next couple of weeks. At least I would think so, and at least I am hopeful, but I guess anything can happen. Next time, we're going to be taking on Missouri, who is, of course, Favored to beat us, like almost every team will be here in the SEC. They are 2-3. and three. Nearly lost to an FCS team in Week 1. But they still won. They really haven't done anything too impressive this year. Looking at Missouri's offensive stats, they don't have anything too impressive going for them, I guess. Tower Beatty, their running back averaging over 5 yards a carry, is pretty impressive. But how about our stats? Cam Johnson, he is still our leading rusher, even though he had no rushing yards this last week. He's also our leading receiver. Looking at the standings, we are neck and neck there with Missouri, and they are trying to get to 500 while we're trying to get back above 500. And it's a big game in the SEC, at least we're trying to stay out of the gutter of it. Connor Bazelak, their quarterback, he does have some similar ratings to Bill Rogers, who we just faced, and he killed us, so hopefully we don't let that happen again. Tower Beatty, their running back, he is undersized, but has some great ratings across the board. Could cause problems for us in the receiving game. Hopefully we can slow him down. On the defensive side of the ball, they have a couple of standouts on the defensive line. Kobe Whiteside at defensive tackle. He is one of them, and the other is Trahan Jeffcoat. They're both good at stopping the run and rushing the passer with power moves. Should be another fun game for us. As we look to get back above 500, it will be a road game. And yeah, thanks for watching this one, and I will see you next time.